Hello Tangerines from southern Mexico. We are still in the Pueblo Magico of San Cristobal de las Casas in the Mexican state of Chiapas. Maddie is sick in bed right now, so I'm on my way to get some fresh squeezed juice for her. So hopefully we don't spend our last day here with her in bed. We were going to visit El Chiflon, which is a waterfall about two and a half hours away from here today, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen right now. If you found our channel recently, you may or may not know that Maddie is dealing with mercury poisoning. And she's on a detox protocol and has been for a while. Detoxing heavy metals is a careful balance between getting them out of your system and doing it too quickly because doing it too quickly can really take a toll, it can damage your organs. With detoxing, one of the symptoms is a weakened immune system. Unfortunately, a lot of times that means she can be sick in bed. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, ¿Qué precio tiene el jugo? De 15 a 20. Uh, 20, por favor. Gracias. Hey, sweetie, how you feeling? A little better than this morning. Good morning, guys, from El Centro of El Centro, where there is... Officially. <laughs> Officially. Where there is a restaurant on the second story and at the bottom, but we of course had to go to the top. Please bear with us because Jordan and I are still riding the struggle bus real bad. Real I woke bad. up <laughs> I woke up and my eyes swollen, my throat still hurts, I'm still kind of sick. It just like yeah. Okay, so <laughs> it's our last official day. We said yesterday was our last day, but that's our full day. Before we leave the city and head to Via Hermosa for one night, we are going to give you guys the ratings and the categories that we propose to you, like walkability, safety, affordability, and things like that. We asked, would you like us to give you our ratings on these after we visit a city? And it was a overwhelming, yes, 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 please do that, yes. <laughs> So in each one of these categories, we're going to give it a rating 1 through 5. 1 being the worst, 5 being the best. We're not telling you these things to criticize the city by any means. This is just the information, the reality as we see it. These are our perspectives, our opinions. They do not represent everyone, but we hope by sharing this that you have a more realistic view of the city. Hello from the future. We are in Merida, Yucatan right now. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> and we just wanted to hop in here quickly and say something that we forgot to mention. Yes, so we went into way more detail in this video than we probably imagine we will in the future for future cities. We're thinking something like a pop-up at the end with a blog type thing in the description to give you more detail. But please let us know, do you like that we're giving you all this information or would you prefer it to be more of a quick thing? And now back to it. <laughs> The first category is pollution. Sometimes in cities you have buses going by and the air is really tough to breathe. And there will even be pollution advisory warnings if you open up mm -hmm. the weather app yeah. on your phone. Here I think this is probably the cleanest air, the cleanest city, least amount of pollution we've seen in all of Mexico, so this easily gets a five. Next on the list is walkability. This is something that we personally find very, very important about a city because we enjoy and prefer to walk places because you get to see more things that way. In this category, we had to rate it a three. It gets bonus points because it has these really cool walking streets where cars are not allowed to drive. However, they are super busy, so it's kind of hard to like dodge people and get around. But the city is very compact, meaning you could walk from one side to the other very easily and in a pretty short amount of time. So far, those all sound like good things. Why a three? Why a three? Well, the sidewalks, a lot of them are super narrow. Like, one person can fit and try to squeeze past people, and there are people walking around everywhere, so it's pretty difficult. And they are slippery as all get out. I've almost eaten it, like, 45 times, because even when they're not wet, it's so slick, it's easy to, to fall. It's so, very slick stone. Yeah, slick stone. So. All things considered, it's very walkable, but it can kind of be a pain to walk around, so that's why we gave it a three. <laughs> Next category is cleanliness. This category, we give it a three. There's not a lot of trash or anything like that, so it's very clean in that sense. However, there is a lot of graffiti here. That's unfortunate because it's, it would be a 
pretty simple solution to paint over it and it would give the city a whole lot better aesthetic. This next one is traffic. Jordan and I are a little bit in disagreement on this one because I think this is basically the most perfect city in terms of lack of traffic, like there's practically none. But if we're also taking into consideration how easy it is to drive around, yes, the streets are narrow, and if someone decides to stop in the middle of the road or you have like ducks crossing the road or something, that could cause a pileup for 42 seconds. So, four out of five, five out of five, we can't decide. <laughs> Our last video was kind of all about this topic, but affordability, definite five out of five. It's the most affordable city we've been to in all of Mexico. Across every category too, like from services to food to lodging, across the board, yeah. very, very affordable here. Uh, if I can say one thing I noticed is not so affordable is parking. Oh yes, but that makes sense. Narrow streets, not a lot of surface area for It was built cars. a long time ago yeah. and not built for a ton of people. <laughs> After we made that video where we took $10, yesterday we went to, we got off a little bit off the beaten path and went to this restaurant. It was uh, Comida Casera, which means like basically homemade cooking. It's a pretty basic restaurant, but they still had a full menu and they had huevos al gusto, eggs any way you want them, that also came with beans and then fried bananas and that was 25 pesos. So it gets even cheaper than what we showed you in that video. All right, so I feel like we're going to get the most crap for including this category, but it is a very important part of the city, and that is the people living here. This takes into consideration how polite people are, how pleasant, do they greet you on the street, things like that, because we've been to cities where everyone you walk by says buenos, buenos dias or buenas tardes, like Aguascalientes, and people are so helpful in that city. Here, we rate it a four out of five because people are generally pretty friendly with you. They don't often greet you on the streets, but the reason it's not a five out of five is primarily because there's a, a decent portion of the population that has sort of like a stuck up or I'm better than you sort of mentality and we've gotten the impression that we're just like not cool enough to be in a certain restaurant, not a fancy restaurant, like a, dare I say it, a hipster place. We're just not, definitely not cool enough for that. <laughs> but as a whole, the people here are great. There's just a small sliver that sort of make you feel not good enough, I suppose. <laughs> We thought it was gonna get warmer as the day went on, but it's only gotten colder, so now we're all bundled up. It calls for one glove, exactly one. <laughs> <laughs> we're back at our Airbnb now on this gorgeous property. Here's a quick tour of the Airbnb that we stayed at while we were in this city. So we just arrived to San Cristobal de las Casas, and this is our casa. Kitchen over here, a bathroom here with some gorgeous tile work. A huge bed that Laska will not be getting up on. Okay. <laughs> In the bathroom. Also some more gorgeous tile work. The owner was telling us that this used to be her kindergarten back in the 80s and then it was converted into workshops and now they are apartments, which I think the evolution bet is just kind of amazing. If you guys are new to Airbnb, please use our link to sign up. You get $40 off your first stay and we get a travel credit as well, which helps us show you super cool places like San Cristobal de las Casas. And if you're not based in the US, it'll just be $40 equivalent in your currency. The next category is safety. This gets a five with an asterisk. I feel perfectly safe walking around by myself. It, there's never been a time where it seemed like someone was following too closely. The overall vibe of safety seems there. It, it does surprise me though with the amount of graffiti all over the city. I would expect there to be more petty crime, yeah, or vandalism, but outward appearances and our experiences say that might just be an isolated thing, but. We've only been here a little over a week. Can we really call a place safe when we haven't Lived had a here. long time to experience it? No, I don't think so. Category, English presence. <laughs> a lot of times people are asking, especially because they're considering retiring or something, is there a lot of English spoken? Maybe you're learning Spanish or you don't want to learn Spanish. So here in this city, it's maybe like a two or a three. We're kind of, it's a toss up because 
there are a significant number of people who speak English and maybe there are more but we're speaking Spanish so it's honestly hard to tell. It is here but not so much as a place like Playa del Carmen where everyone speaks English. For the city size, it seems to be a pretty significant expat population, foreigner population. Yeah, travelers also who speak English, so. Our next category is internet. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of high-speed internet in general throughout the city, but it does seem to be better the closer you get to Centro, and there are cafes that offer internet. We haven't had a difficult time uploading here, which is usually something we struggle with when the internet is not great. For this category, we rate it a three. Yeah, for a relatively small town, I'm shocked how fast we can upload videos here. Shocked! We're shocked! <laughs> <laughs> the next category is things to do, and we rate this a three. Why is that? You're only going to have so many things to do in a relatively small city. There are some museums here, there's lots of vendors and shops to look at. Because of the nature, because you can go see canyons and you can go see waterfalls and gorgeous mountains with lots of hiking available, we're bumping that up to a three, but it is a bit of a drive to some of these things. I don't personally see this as something that's bad about this city. Like, I've never felt like we didn't have something to do. Maybe in the long term, though, it would get old looking at the what the vendors are selling and walking around and exploring the city. I really think for a city to get a five in this category, it has to be a very, very large city. Something like Guadalajara or Mexico City. Our next category is weather. And this, like all of these, honestly, is just a personal preference thing. We personally do not prefer colder weather. It is pretty cold here. No, it's not snowing, but it has been really, really windy most of the time that we've been here and pretty darn cold. So we give this category a three. Also worth noting, the only time we've ever been in the city is during this trip. So we have no idea what the fall is like, what the summer. What time of year is it for people who watch us later? Winter. Invierno. <laughs> Okie dokie, and so our last category is how we feel about San Cristobal de las Casas overall. This is not an average of all of the scores we've given up to this point, this is just how we personally feel, like how the city falls on us. And for this category, we give it a 5 out of 5. I love this city. Love, 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 love. <laughs> for both of us, this is one of our favorite places that we've been to in Mexico. No, not every city's perfect in every category. It's never going to be. That's how life is. <laughs> I really love how the city has like such a healthy mix of cultures from all over the world. People traveling, expats, locals, natives. I mean, it's just everything. And then I personally love all the artesanias and the vendors and everything they have to sell. It's so colorful and vibrant and that personally makes me really happy. I love that there's the walking streets, the food here is amazing, and let's also talk about the coffee. Holy crap. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Darn good coffee. I'm going to be totally spoiled now. I'm like a coffee snob. Nothing will be as good as Chiapas coffee. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and send it to a friend who might enjoy it too. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to see our upcoming videos about our travels. Right now we're in Mexico. And one more thing. <laughs> Gong that bell! <laughs> so you get notified the next time we put out our new videos. And we will see you in the next one.